Have you ever wondered if your main alignment is stable? How about the elements that construct the main alignment? Are they stable enough? How do you control and check if your main alignment is good? Well, this is what we are going to find out today, so let's get right into it. There are two types of methods to check your alignments. The first one is done by checking the elements that construct the alignment. And this is what we are going to present in today's video. So first of all, this type of checking is available for any type of alignments, regular alignments with datums, RPS alignments and best fit alignments and so on. With this being known, now let's assume that you have a part to measure with typical datums A, B, C. And datum A is a plane, is the plane. Datum B is a circle and datum C is the other circle. We have here the drawing of the part and the datums are exactly where we show they are. You measure the characteristics required from the drawing. And after measuring five parts, you notice that you have deviations between the results. Just like we can see here. So notice that we have big deviations between some of them, right? So it's it's pretty large. I had set a trend protocol just to see exactly what the deviations are. So they are very high. The range is 0 0.6 uh, on them. The only okay, let's say, distance is position 6 that has only a range of 0 0.05. So this is the distance between the circles, like we can see in the drawing. So this distance is the distance between the circles, the one that we saw in the protocol. So, with this being said, maybe there is some problems with the alignment you've done and you want to check the alignment. How do you do that? So, first you check the elements from the deviated characteristics and the measurement strategy that relates them and you get the conclusion that they are fine, right? So, now you check the elements from the alignment, A, B, C and you can see that they can be improved by taking more points on some of them maybe projecting the circles on the plane everything you do is to improve the alignment after this you remeasure the parts and notice that results have improved but not that much so what do you do now remember this is available for any measurement software I'm going to use Calypso to create this scenario and you feel free to follow along and make the steps in whatever software you are using. So we are in Calypso and we have our measurement program right here. The base alignment, let's see it. Okay, so this is defined like I've presented earlier. And I want to check all the elements that construct the base alignment. Okay, how to do that? We go to the features. I have here the features that construct the base alignment. I will copy the entire group. So, copy. I will paste it right under here. Okay, so we have the first datums right here, right? So the first checking. Let's say that here is the middle of the program. So I will paste it here the second time. And at the end of the program, the third time. Now let's see what axis every element is taking so we know what to evaluate. So let's look first at datum A. So datum A clearly 
okay, we have even some measurements here, some results. Uh, datum A is taking the Z axis. So I want to check the Z axis here, right? So I will check the Z axis. I will put a tolerance of 0, 0.0, I don't know. Uh, we have 0, 0.1 maximum tolerance, so 10% of that is 0 0.01. So this is the maximum allowance tolerance, right? For Z value datum A. Okay, then I will check the axis for the B datum. B1, this should take... I, I want to check even the X and the and the Y axis for this datum and for the C datum as well. I, I'm interested that both of them are in the same order, but I do remember that we had on the drawing the distance on X axis. So I will not check the distance on Z axis for the C datum, but for the B datum, I will check both axes. And here I will set again 0, 1, 0, 1, and here as well 0, 1, and um, minus 0, 0.1 not point here <clears throat> let's set it to last input to remember the values okay and at the c datum again i'm going to check the y axis because it's taking the y axis in this direction for the line okay so last input zero one okay good now let's do the same for two, group two and group three. Now I have here the evaluations. Now let's uh, hide this because we don't want to use this. Okay, and uh, we will run the measurement program now. Okay, so we do have some values in red. That's definitely not okay. And this is only for the datum. Okay, datum A. Okay, good. So as we can see, datum B and C uh, are fine. And this is what I suspected from the measurement report. As you saw, uh, position six was always fine. That means that the circles are in position and uh, it's, they are okay. So the problem uh, came from the datum. Okay, so datum A, the plane. Okay, so in our case, the things are clear. We just have to check datum A. We have to make sure there is no bore on datum A and everything is fine. Now, if the secondary and tertiary elements that construct the alignment, so let's say this one, right, from here, were not okay, then we have to check everything that I said earlier. So check if there are any burrs on the parts. Check if there are not deformations on the part, right? Big deformations on the part. Check everything, right? So check if you have any debris on the part, right? So check everything. Check everything, make sure everything is fine. And after this, if you see that everything is fine, the only thing that remains is the fixture. So if the first elements, the second and the third, have big deviations between them, not like here, right? So big deviations between them, then you will have to check the fixture. That means the fixture is not stable enough. That means the part is moving in the fixture 
or some elements from the picture is moving and you have differences in the measurement results. So just follow the steps that I told you and I'm sure you will find the reason for the instability of your alignment. I hope I helped you with your problem or maybe you found out something new today. Don't forget to push that like button, share the content so that other colleagues can see it and enjoy the information. Subscribe if you want to find out more tips about measuring programming and of course until next time have a nice one. Bye.